One of my favorite, absolute favorite parts of Genius is its ability to speed up sending messages. You'll find that you send the same messages over and over and over again. Wholesalers asking you, what are you looking for? And you know, it's, it's, a, it's a list of things. I need it 1,000 square feet and above. I need it to be three bedrooms and up. I need it to be uh, 1950s and up. All these things are things that you don't want to have to type over and over and over again. So what we have is the quick chat window at the bottom right here. And what this area does is, a, well, you can save notes. It's cool to be able to save notes on you talking to somebody and he said, oh, this guy's a creative financer. Does creative financing, right? So I can put that there and that'll save that note. So that's cool. You can write notes if, if you need to take notes on certain uh, folks. You also have um, notifications, so you can you can send a notification, which can send a, a web hook, which would can send to your CRM if you have another CRM, or it can send to maybe um, whatever through Zapier. You can send web hooks through Zapier, and that'll trigger all sorts of things. I mean, you can trigger a text message to remind you uh, of something here if you wanted to. Um, so it's basically setting a notification so if this person says hey i'm going to have a property in like three days check back with me i will write that here put it in for three days put the time and then put a message to myself and i probably would set a web hook that would go to um something else to like send me a text if possible um to remind me of that the other thing you have here is people's email and phone. Now I use this a lot, this section, when I'm collecting people's information, their phone and email, I put it here. I can have a, a web hook that will then zap this to my CRM and it'll zap it with their full name um, and the email and phone. It also will take that this person is a creative financer. So that's good. Um, so I, I do use tend to use that a lot. But what I got you here for was for the quick messages. So this is the quick messages section. Now, you can just do, okay, this is quick message. So I can do that and add that, right? Then come here, it's here. Then I can type my quick message and say, um, hey, this is Chi again, just checking to see if you had anything new, right? So that might be my message, right? Then I add it here. Then, so when I want to go send this to somebody, I just click on that real quick and hit this little play icon and you can see it puts it right into the chat window where I can say, push go and send it. So in that manner, it is pretty awesome. But you don't have to set them up here. The other thing is this also lives in this section and that is the global ten templates. So you can also, it, you can see them a lot better here. You can you can send them up here. You can also delete them here. This is the one we just created, delete. I tend to find that there's not any real rhyme or reason about the organization, but you can move these things. So if you wanted to organize them differently, you can do that here. And that can be helpful. You can also do multiple messages for one. So I sometimes will have like so this saw a property post. I, I need different variations of hey, you go into a group and you see somebody with the property, I want multiple different uh responses, right? So 
that is also something I'm doing now you can do this this um, you can do their name it will automatically populate their name if you do this what is that the the, the number sign the name in ca all caps and a number sign again that will automatically put their name there so now you don't have to think about that part either so it can be very beneficial and this is basically the template section for that you just kind of come in here you would name the template whatever you want to name it again we'll say um we'll just see test testy we'll go here you see test here to do this here you can just start typing here type text test you know add that and it exists there and you can add some more to it test two the other thing you can do is you can add a photo um, here let's do the genius connector logo and there we go we have genius connector there add that and so then now you know if I came in here if I came and had a conversation with somebody click on this click here go to test and as you can see that photo is here and I can just go like this and then the photo is right there in his window and I would just put send and it would send if I wanted it so you can add you know little maybe you, you have a little gif that you'd like to put in with 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 some certain conversations or Maybe you have your logo and you want to stick your logo there. You have a business card. If you're a realtor and you have a business card, you can stick your business card right there and it, it would be very quick to, to send over. You always have it. You don't have to come go looking on your desktop for it because it is living in, in genius. So that is basically how the quick window works and functions. Uh, very powerful stuff i love the quick window it, it makes things very quick for me marketplace scammers i had um some stuff on marketplace and the scammers kept sending me stuff um they always want your cell phone don't don't give the scammers your cell phone number if you're selling something on marketplace but i have a, a response to them that basically sends them to the website where it shows the whole scam that they're running but um yeah so that is the quick chat function. Hope that helps you all quite a bit and I'm out again.